I really need to try to see if I can come up with a better setup. Because we're having the computer over here. I switch sides. And if I need to go on the camera, then I'm going to be doing this. And I just don't think it's a very good look. But I'm going to work with what I got. So that's how I'm going to start my video, is saying how I'm still trying to figure out my setup and everything. I got some stuff kind of around, hoping I can try to keep any echoey sound away. I should be relatively fine. This is cloth, and now I got some cloth in front of me. Should minimize it, and hopefully it doesn't sound so weird. The last video I did sounded weird. Um, uh, I got the fridge is running, so it's going to be a little ambient noise. Yeah, I can see it on the mic uh, bar on OBS. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this started. I got an unboxing. Um, this is an order that I did. When did I do it? <laughs> July. It was a pre-order. Actually, one of them was a pre-order. Um, I did July 1st. <laughs> they just got in one of the pops. And as soon as I got them in, they ship them. So, and this is from Chalice Collectibles. Now, the thing is, I didn't really realize how much I paid for them. They were $9 a piece. But one of the things that gets me about Chalice is Chalice shipping is, like, expensive because to ship this box, which, um, they, they use stamps.com, apparently. The shipping label was made on September 26th. Today is October 1st. Uh, it doesn't list the price. It's kind of seeing what the price ended up being, but they charge basically $12. And I want to say that's one of the things that kept me from really ordering from Chalice a lot is because of that. I never ordered the Chalice protectors. I tried ordering the Chalice protectors, but unlike 7 bucks a pop and Shumi, who do free shipping, they don't. <laughs> So it's like twelve dollars. It ended up being thirty bucks for two pops, which basically means I effectively paid fifteen dollars for each of these. But I got them in. Um, let's open it up. Chalice will probably be fine if you're getting something that only they have, uh, and you're getting several things. It's not good for a smaller order. Probably, this is a box that could probably fit four. So it would probably be the same shipping for four. It might be, that's what they do. So here's how they ship. Chalice, like Shumi, ships in protectors. Let's go ahead and pull the first one out. Because this is the one that was in stock. So they were holding this for me. Alright. And it is the John Wick with Dog. This would be with the one that he took from the veterinarian office at the end of the first film. There you go. And, oh, we're going to pull this one out. Ah, I have so little space to work with. I'm going to do this because I don't have a lot of space. Like I said... Alright, there we go. You can probably see the top of it. <laughs> and here is the one that was pre-ordered that they finally got in that I was waiting for. And that is the Stan Lee cameo from Ragnarok. This is when he was going to um, cut uh, Thor's hair. So, these protectors feel different. Okay. So there's that. Ah, uh, you can badly see the reflection. Urgh, I really need a better setup. Like, if I had white, like, like a white sheet on the back, that would have been great. So now, this is the only Ragnarok. No, this is not the only Ragnarok pop. I have a Korg. Korg doesn't show up on here, though. 
But here's the, the line, the lineup. And the back of this one, I didn't show it, is this. Side, side, go. So, here we go. I got, this is my, this is the third pop I have that's Keanu Reeves because I previously had both Neo and Ted. And I finally have a Stanley. This is my first Stanley. Um, I didn't have a Stanley before. Now I do. And I actually have, like, I've been doing some rearranging, and I, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Real People Pops. And even though this is a character, it says Stan Lee. So I'm like, do I put this with the regular Marvel stuff? Or do I stick this with my Real People Pops, as I call them? Um, basically, it's the pops that are like pop icons, where they're 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 real people. They're not characters. I want to like keep them all together. This also includes Pop Rocks because those are real characters. They're, they're real people too. So my Def Leppard and my uh, Freddie Mercury. Um. So it's not a, it's not a lot that I have that are real people. Uh, I have the Marilyn Monroe. The Ruth Bader Ginsburg, um, Edgar Allan Poe. What else do I have? Oh yeah, and then of course, like I said, the Deaf Leopard, like all five of them, plus the Freddie Mercury, and I put a Conan one there. I have Conan when he did the Conan Without Borders. Uh, and this was the Mexican one where he's in the, 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 the chicken costume. Because he's a real person. So I put him there. And now this will go over there. And I will find a place for John Wick. So, uh, that'll be it. Uh, so take care. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Um, stay informed. And bye.